Good morning, dear students. I welcome to chemistry class, and this is the last uh, video of chapter two, and this is the continuation uh, video. Okay, so in the previous classes we have already studied about what are the different types of changes and uh, what are the physical changes and chemical changes along with their examples, and in this class we are going to study what are the differences between physical and chemical changes. and what are the energy changes in physical and chemical changes and a brief description about uh, changes that involve the change of state of matter okay for example melting freezing boiling evaporation condensation and sublimation also we'll discuss an activity which shows that sublimation is a physical change so let's start on the basis of the previous videos and the description about the physical and the chemical changes let us now discuss what are the basic differences between physical and chemical changes physical change is temporary because no new substance is formed and there is only a change in the physical properties whereas the chemical change is permanent because new substances are formed with the and the products that are formed they have the entirely different physical and chemical properties now physical changes uh, can be reversed if we reverse the conditions whereas chemical changes cannot be reversed by just changing or reversing the conditions or the methods that are applied now in physical changes energy may or may not be released or absorbed whereas in chemical changes energy is released or absorbed okay and in physical changes maximum or most of the time the original substance can be obtained by reversing the conditions whereas in the chemical change the original substance cannot be obtained by reversing the conditions for example physical changes melting of ice melting of butter these are all physical changes whereas chemical changes means cooking of food then burning of paper in or in these both the conditions we can say that the uh, original substance or the original paper cannot be uh, obtained back also the uh, raw food is can also cannot be obtained or the raw uh, vegetables cannot be obtained back by reversing the conditions so this is chemical change now whenever change occurs whether it is a physical or a chemical change there is either an absorption of energy or the release of energy now the energy that is released or absorbed can be in any form such as heat light sound etc now the amount of energy that is absorbed or released may may be different depending upon the type of change that is occurring now the energy changes are different in a physical change and they are uh, in uh, in a physical change as well as in the chemical change okay now in physical changes the energy change is very less or even negligible okay now uh, for example melting of ice now ice absorbs heat from the surrounding atmosphere okay and it starts melting now whereas when this water is again freezed it releases heat energy okay so here the uh, energy is in the form of heat okay and the energy is required or given out is to either increase or decrease the intermolecular force of attraction that is present between the molecules of the substance that is going to change okay so this is the energy change in physical change now in during chemical changes the amount of energy change is more in comparison to the physical change because here what happens the properties of the original substances change completely 
and the new products are formed for example during the burning of fuels a large amount of energy is released and this energy is used to cook food and also to run automobiles another example that can be given is the process of photosynthesis in this process what happens the plants use sunlight as their energy as a source of energy and they prepare food for themselves so here what happens the amount of energy changes more okay now now i'll give we'll study a certain examples in which uh, we'll uh, study the energy change for example burning of wood is a chemical change and in this what happens the heat energy is released bursting of crackers is also a chemical change and here also the energy is released in the form of heat melting of ice physical change and what happens the heat is heat energy is absorbed photosynthesis is a chemical change and here what happens the heat energy is absorbed boiling of water physical change here also what happens the heat energy is absorbed water in order to boil or evaporate water the energy that is used is in the form of heat now most of the physical changes involve the change of state now let us study some examples in which the change of state of matter takes place the first is melting in melting in this process what happens the solids get converted into its liquid state when the heat energy is provided so the process in which a solids get converted into liquid state when heated is known as melting now another process that is freezing in this process a liquids get converted into its solid state when cooled is known as freezing for example ice the melting of ice now when ice is heated it melts to form water and when this water is cooled it again freezes and turns back into ice here what happens the no new substance is formed okay the chemical properties of water is remains the same whether it is in the solid state or in the liquid state only what changes the state and the shape of matter changes in both the processes and both these processes are temporary and reversible the next change that involves the uh, change of uh, state is boiling now when water is heated it starts boiling and it gets converted into the vapor state so this process in which the liquids get converted into a vapor state upon heating at a particular temperature and this particular temperature is known as the boiling point okay is called as boiling okay now here what happens the chemi when water is boiled okay the so the chemical properties and it changes into its vapor state at this stage the chemical properties of the water molecules are same in the liquid as well as the vapor stage and a no new substance is formed so this is again a change physical change now what happens the process in which the liquids get converted into the vapor state below the boiling point is known as the process of evaporation so what is evaporation the process in which liquids get converted into its vapor state is known as evaporation now this process of evaporation takes place continuously at the room temperature okay now when this vapor is again cooled back it's get converted into the liquid state and this process is known as the condensation now the vapor that was formed or and then when it is cooled back it does not 
there is no change in the chemical properties only the change of state takes place okay and no new substances formed in all these processes so all these processes are again physical changes now there is a process that is known as sublimation now the process in this process what happens solids get converted directly into its vapor state and it does not undergo the change in liquid state okay so the process in which a solid gets converted into its vapor or gaseous state directly without undergoing its liquid state is known as sublimation okay now example naphthalene balls camphor these all are the examples of um, substances that undergo sublimation okay so now when the vapor is condensed back condensed they again convert back into its solid state and there is a no new product is formed so this is again sublimation is a physical change now we are going to study an activity that shows that sublimation is a physical change now this is an activity that shows that physic sublimation is a physical change now what uh, what are the materials that we require we require a china dish some ammonium chloride crystals a bunsen burner and a glass funnel a tripod stand cotton and spatula now uh, what we have to do we'll take the clean china dish and we'll place um, some ammonium chloride crystals on the china dish and we'll place this china dish on a tripod stand and we'll cover the china dish with this with an inverted glass funnel okay and now what happens we'll start heating the ammonium chloride crystals with the help of a bunsen burner okay and we'll put a cotton plug on the uh, mouth of the inverted funnel no okay and after then after some time what we'll do we'll uh, put put off the flame of the bunsen burner and we'll allow the setup to cool down and on observations we see that ammonium uh, chloride crystals they change to its vapor state okay they sublimate and when these uh, vapor uh, when these are when these vapor are again cooled then the vapor changes back to its solid form and they are deposited as crystals on the inner wall of the funnel so this shows that sublimation is a physical change and there is no new substance formed so we saw that this is a process in which solids get converted into its vapor state directly without passing through its liquid state is known as sublimation so with this video the chapter is complete i hope you people are completing your copies and your also you can ask anything if you have any doubt to me i am ready to i am there to help you and also request you to please complete your copies because these will be checked when the school resumes that's all for today have a nice day